friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW meal prep. I cannot wait to share these recipes with you guys. I am again extremely excited about what is on the menu for the upcoming week. I have a breakfast, I have a lunch, and I have a sweet treat, one that you never would think would be WW friendly. So if you wanna see what I have in store for this week's meal prep, you don't wanna miss out, then all you have to do is stay tuned. For my breakfasts this week, I'm gonna be making a breakfast muffin frittata, and I'm also going to roast up some potatoes. So let me show you first what is in our frittatas. So we are going to need some Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles, fat-free or light cheese, whatever you prefer, salt and pepper, red chili pepper flakes, garlic powder, mushrooms, I'm gonna add some roasted peppers. I really like these in this type of a dish, so I'm gonna chop those up. Also some eggs and an onion. So that's everything in the breakfast muffin frittata cups. And then for potatoes, I have these Dynamic Duo Little Potato Company, and I'm gonna coat those in some of the Great Value Garlic Parmesan. This is so good, you guys. And we're gonna pop that into the oven and roast up some potatoes, and we'll pair it with a fruit. So let's get started on our potatoes and then our frittatas. So the first thing we need to get started for our breakfast is we need to cut up our potatoes slice up our mushrooms and our onion and then we will get the potatoes into the oven and we'll get our mushrooms and onions sauteing down on the stove you have your potatoes all diced up. I weighed these out on my food scale. 754 grams divided by five is 150 grams, which is one serving of the potatoes. So that is ready to go. That's five servings. I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic Parmesan seasoning. Now I don't add any oil or anything. I literally put the seasoning on the potatoes and then I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water and I'm going to put my hands in and just get it all mixed together and there are our garlic parmesan potatoes don't these look delicious that's it I don't add any other seasoning so I'm going to pop these in the oven at 425 until they are all roasted through and now let's get putting together our egg frittata cups while our potatoes are in the oven, I have my mushrooms and my onions here. I did go ahead and spray my pan with some non-stick spray. We're just gonna go ahead and add in our mushrooms and our onions, and we're just gonna saute these down until they are completely cooked through. So to put together our frittata muffin cups, I've sprayed my muffin tin here with some non-stick cooking spray. I'm going to add in my Jimmy Dean sausage. I measured out three servings or one and a half cups of the sausage crumbles. And we just want to put these in as evenly as possible into our muffin cup. So we're gonna first fill it with our sausage crumbles and then we'll go ahead and add in our cheese. Now we're gonna add our cheese. That's the next layer of our little cups. And again, this cheese is the fat-free cheddar, so it's zero smart points for up to a quarter of a cup. And I'm literally putting about a tablespoon in each of my muffin tin cups here. So it's going to be zero points for the cheese. And again, I did measure out the sausage as well. So we'll just take the total amount of points of three servings and we'll divide it among 12 muffins to get you the smart points. So that's really just an easy way to do it. So let me get the cheese on these and then we'll be ready for the next step. Now we're going to add our mushroom and onion mixture that we sauteed and I've decided to add some roasted red peppers to mine as well. So first I'm going to add a pepper and I'm just going to basically place 
a little bit of pepper on each of the egg and sausage mix and then we'll add our mushrooms and onions now it's time for the mushrooms and the onions and I'm going to take my spoon at this point and kind of squish it down because we still have to add egg, our eggs to these cups. And they're getting full already with all the other good stuff. So I'm going to take my spoon back and just really kind of push down the mushroom and onion mixture to leave a little bit of room for the eggs. So I've added 10 eggs to my bowl here. And to that, I'm going to add some garlic powder. And you can go ahead and do this to taste however much you like. And then I'm also going to add some red pepper flakes, but I don't really like a lot of spice, so I'm not going to do very many of those. And then we're going to add in some salt. And we're also going to add in some pepper. And we're just going to whisk this together with a fork, get it nice and combine. And then this is what's going to top our frittata cups. And you guys, this was really easy and it looks absolutely delicious. In the last Step is we are going to spoon our egg mixture over the top of our cups and you just want to make sure you're putting enough in there to fill the cup with the egg mixture and this is what's going to bind the sausage the cheese the mushrooms the onions and our roasted red peppers together so go ahead and add your egg to each of your muffin cups and then we'll be ready to put these into the oven and get these cooked and I'm telling you you guys what a fabulous breakfast full of protein. You're even getting a little veggie in there. So yeah, I'm really excited about these muffin cups. And there are our egg frittata cups. These look outstanding. So these are going to go in the oven at 350 until they are completely cooked through. And then we'll put together our breakfast meal prep. My roasted potatoes are out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and put these into my meal prep container. And then my eggs are just about done. Those frittata egg cups look amazing. So then I'll be back to show you the completed meal prep. All right, look at these frittata cups. They did overflow a little bit, but I'm not gonna be mad about a little extra egg. So I'm gonna let these cool just a bit here and we'll pop them into our meal prep container and we'll finish our breakfast prep. But these look delicious. I think I'm going to do two each day. All right, here is my meal prep. I am incredibly excited for this. This looks so good. So what I'm having each day is I'm going to have two of my sausage frittata egg cups. Not bad. Delicious. They taste really good. That's a large amount of food for the smart points. I'm also going to have one serving of my roasted potatoes. And then I'm going to have a little baggie of blueberries. So not bad for the smart points for this entire breakfast prep. And this will keep you full and satisfied with the protein in the eggs and the sausage and then some blueberries. So that my friends is what I am having for breakfast for this upcoming week. For lunches this week, I'm gonna be making summer chicken salad. I've been craving something on a wrap and this sounds absolutely delicious. I'm gonna pair this with some crackers and some fruit and some dessert. So I'm gonna show you first what is in our summer chicken salad. So first you're going to need some non-fat Greek yogurt, apple cider vinegar, some sort of sweetener alternative of your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and use monk fruit. Of course, you're going to need some chicken breast, some reduced sugar craisins, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper. I'm gonna be putting mine on a tomorrow's premium white wrap. I've never tried these, but I'm really excited to. I've heard they are excellent. They are only one smart point per wrap. So I'm gonna be putting my chicken salad on one of those. You're also going to need some pecans or whatever nut you wanna use. I'm gonna do pecans, some celery, and some green onions. So let's get started on our summer chicken salad. So the first thing for our chicken salad is I need to go ahead and cook down my chicken. So I have two rather large chicken breasts here in my Instant Pot. I did spray my liner with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. So I'm just gonna go down here to manual mode and I'm just gonna set this for about 15 minutes and that should be enough time to cook the chicken through. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the lid and I'll be back once the chicken is done. While our chicken's cooking here in our Instant Pot, we're gonna go ahead and dice up some green onions, some celery, we're just gonna put it here in this bowl and then once our chicken is done, we'll be ready to assemble our chicken salad. So my 
my chicken is out of the Instant Pot, I went ahead and just shredded it up with some forks and we are ready to put together our salad. So in my bowl here, you can see I have my green onions and my celery. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken. That way I can make sure it gets all nice and mixed together with those green onions and that celery. The Instant Pot, if you have one, is super fast in cooking chicken and it comes out nice and juicy without any added anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the chicken kind of mixed up. And then to that, I'm going to add one half of a cup of reduced sugar craisins. And I went ahead and measured that out, of course, in a half of a cup. On my food scale, I measured out one ounce of pecans, and then I just broke them up with my fingers into smaller pieces. And then for the sauce for our salad, here, let's give this a quick mix. Oh, yum. I'm really excited about this. For the sauce, you're going to need one half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. So there is that. What I did for my sauce is I'm using the recipe from Jamie Eason. This is the same sauce we used in our turkey salad that we made a few weeks ago in meal prep. I just am changing up the rest of what's in the salad and using chicken and the craisins. But I'm gonna go ahead and add in that. We're also going to add eight tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Now, I don't know if that was quite eight tablespoons, only because I was about out of Dijon mustard. So I used everything I had left in my container, but the recipe does call for eight tablespoons. And then we're going to add in four tablespoons of sweetener. So this is that monk fruit sweetener. And I'm also going to add in four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And let's give that another kind of quick stir together here. Oh, this looks so good. And then we are going to add in a little bit of pepper and then a little bit of salt. And I'm thinking looking here at my salad that it needs a little bit more non-fat Greek yogurt, which is zero points. So I am going to go ahead and add just a little bit more non-fat Greek yogurt. So there is my chicken salad. I did decide to add about another half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Look at how good this looks. We're going to pair this with a tomorrow's wrap. So let me show you how I'm going to put together my meal prep for my chicken salad, my wrap, and then I'm going to also have some veggies and some crackers. All right, so I have my five days worth of my chicken salad. So you get quite a bit for the smart point. So that is one serving of the chicken salad. And then to that, I'm gonna add my wrap. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my tomorrow's wrap and I'm basically just gonna kind of fold it up and place it into the small compartment of my meal prep container. And then it is nice and ready to go for when I'm ready to eat. And then I'll just throw this whole little container in the refrigerator. And then I'm gonna show you what crackers I'm going to have. And I'm also going to have some carrots on the side just as a little bit added extra vegetable. So let me add my wraps here and then let me grab my crackers and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna have for lunch and give you all of the smart points. So here is lunch meal prep. So let me show you exactly what I'm having. So I have one serving of my summer chicken salad. This is a total of three smart points. By using the Greek yogurt rather than mayonnaise, we are saving so many smart points and it tastes even better. So this is three smart points worth of the chicken salad, one smart point for the tomorrow's wrap. So my little summer chicken salad wrap is only four smart points and look at how yummy that looks. And then with that, I'm going to have some crackers. So what I have here are the thinnables. I have both the Italian, four cheese and the sharp cheddar. So I buy these thinnables off of the Nutrition website. There is a link down in the description box. If you click the link, it takes you right to the website and you can see all of the amazing WW finds. This is where they have the fiber gourmet pasta, these thinnables, the sugar-free honey, the Lily's chocolate chips. It is just a fantastic website full of WW friendly foods. These thinnables are amazing and you can have 30 crackers or 28 grams, which is this package here. Let me show that to you just so you can see. 
I measured this out on my food scale. This is 28 grams of the Thinnables. And this entire little baggie of crackers is two smart points. Cheez-Its, you guys, are five smart points for less crackers. So this is a Cheez-It alternative. They are crunchy. They are cheesy. My favorite is this Italian four cheese, but I really do like the sharp cheddar as well. So this entire baggie of crackers, two smart points. So check out Nutrition. Definitely recommend the Thinnables. So two points for the crackers. So, so far I am at two, three, four, five, six, six points. Instead of carrots, I decided to have one of these each day. I'm obsessed, you guys, with these Oh Snap Pickling Company Dilly Bites. These have no brine. They're in these cute little packages. They're really easy to take with you on the go. They are zero smart points, and they are found in the cold section. I bought mine at Walmart, and I want to say they're about a dollar a package. So I'm going to go ahead and have some pickles for zero. And then I think for a sweet treat, I'm going to do these WW Chocolate Marshmallow Puffs. I love these. These are so good. This is my favorite sweet treat from WW. And this package is two smart points and it is so good. So with the sweet treat, the pickles, my wrap and some crackers, you guys, this lunch is only eight smart points. For a sweet treat or a snack item this week, I'm going to be making zucchini bread, but we're going to be WWing this recipe, if that's a word. So we're going to have zucchini bread and wait until you guys see the smart points for what you're getting. So let me show you first what is in our zucchini bread. So first you're going to need some flour, sugar-free syrup, salt, cinnamon, vanilla, baking powder and baking soda, eggs, zucchini, unsweetened applesauce, and whatever nut you want to put in there. I don't have any walnuts, so we're going to use pecans. So let's get started on our zucchini bread. The first thing we need to do for our zucchini bread is get our zucchini nice and grated so that it adds that delicious moistness to our bread. So I'm going to go ahead and grate all three of these zucchinis. I prefer to use my zester because it makes smaller pieces and I think it incorporates a little bit better into the bread. So I'm going to get these all grated and then we'll get our bread ingredients put together and get it into the oven. together our zucchini bread. I've went ahead and grated all my zucchini. Do not squeeze the liquid out. We want the liquid in our bread. It's what helps keep it nice and moist. To our zucchini, we are going to add three quarters of a cup of sugar-free syrup. And you can also use honey, but that's really going to up the points. And the sugar-free syrup should definitely be sweet enough. So I'm going to add that. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're also going to add a little bit of ground cinnamon and again to your liking. We're also going to add some salt which will help bring out the sweetness in our bread and we just want a little bit of salt. I'm going to add two cups of flour and before I add the rest of my ingredients I am going to give this kind of a good stir. I'd like to get that flour mixed in a little bit with the syrup and the zucchini. Oh my goodness, you guys, I can smell the cinnamon and it smells so good. So I'm just gonna kinda get that flour mixed up just a little bit. We don't quite have enough liquid in there, so do a little bit of flour. And then I'm going to add one cracked egg and one half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce, which is equivalent to about one of these little individual cups. I did went ahead and measured out one ounce of pecans and then I just broke them up into smaller pieces so they went a little bit further. And then we are going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. And I really like the Trader Joe's in the baking soda and in the baking powder. Speaking of powder, we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. So that's all of our ingredients. So let's give this a big stir and then we're going to grab our bread pan and get this put into there and into the oven. But this looks so good. Even having that little bit of pecans or nuts of your choice in there is just going to really add to the flavor. And yum, look at how good this looks. Next, go ahead and line your bread pan with some parchment paper and then go ahead and add your bread zucchini mix. Oh, yum, this looks so 
good, you guys. Go ahead and add that. And then what I normally do is I'll spread it out with my spatula. And then what I like to do too is take it and kind of pound it. And that'll get it into all of the crevices here of your pan. You definitely want to use the parchment paper. Your bread will come out a lot easier. So there you have it. We're ready to put this in the oven at 350. Here's our zucchini bread. I just took it out of the oven. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm going to let this cool for just a little while. We'll cut it into slices. I'll show you what it looks like and we'll give you the smart points. But this is definitely a delicious looking loaf of bread. So here is our completed zucchini bread. I cut this into 12 pieces. So I cut it into six large pieces of the zucchini bread. As you can see here, a nice thick slice. And then I cut each one of those slices into halves. So this is a good size piece of zucchini bread. You can have one slice for only three smart points. You cannot beat three smart points for zucchini bread. I had some with my lunch today and it is super delicious. So here's what I'm gonna be taking for snacks for the upcoming week. Of course, I'm gonna be having a Built Bar. You know that this is my morning snack if you follow my channel. It keeps me nice and satisfied between breakfast and lunch. Cures that little bit of sweet tooth I get mid-morning as well. So this week I'm gonna be taking the salted caramel, the mint brownie delight, and it is back you guys, permanent flavor, which is extremely exciting. The mocha chocolate cream, which is also now a permanent flavor. I love the cinnamon, it's no longer available, which makes me sad. And then of course I have another mint brownie because it's really one of my favorites. So these bars are only three smart points and they literally taste like a candy bar. This mint brownie delight tastes like a brownie. It, the center is fudgy like a brownie, absolutely divine. So if you're interested in picking up the Built Bar, especially now that the mint brownie delight and mocha are permanent, use my code here on the screen to save 10%. You can reuse my code, so save it. You can use it over and over again. Go to BuiltBar.com, enter my code, and you'll receive 10% off and free shipping. Also, they are eliminating the lemon and the strawberry. So if those are some of your favorite flavors, make sure you order those before they are gone. So Built Bar is my morning snack. Also, my friend Barrett Pastor, who also has a YouTube channel, mentioned these, and these are the Nutrition Heart Health Power Squares. This is the size of them, so I wanted to give you guys a reference here. Let me, so there's the size of the little square, and these, you guys, are so incredibly delicious. You can have an entire serving, which is 13 of these little clusters, for only five smart points. And they are full of nuts and honey and dried cranberries, and they are literally so good. They are such a satisfying snack that is extremely good for you. So five smart points for 13. Of course, you can lower the number of squares to lower the smart points. So I'm gonna take some of these. I usually just leave this bag in my car or in my purse, and then I have a quick healthy snack ready to eat. And then this week, because it's hot, I am wanting some protein shakes. So I love the devotion, as you know. This is the brownie batter. They also have angel food cake, which is absolutely delicious. But for protein shakes, I love the brownie batter. It is two smart points per scoop. And you guys, this does not taste like protein powder. There is no chalkiness. There is no whey flavor. There is no aftertaste. It literally does not taste anything like a protein powder. It is creamy and chocolatey and delicious. So what I like to do is blend this up with a frozen banana, some almond milk and some PB2, and it's a four smart point protein shake. And this protein powder has 20 grams of protein, sugar-free, has MCT oil, which helps keep you full, gluten-free and bloat-free, which is awesome in a protein powder. So I'm gonna have some of this just bagged up one scoop on hand to make a protein shake. You can also mix this just right in with some almond milk and have a three smart point protein shake. So whatever you prefer to do, I love the devotion. If you use my code here on the screen, you'll save 10% off of your order. You can bake with this, which you've seen me do a thousand times, but I love it in a protein shake because there's no aftertaste. So I'm gonna add a protein shake, some Nutrition Nut Squares and a Built Bar, and that is my snacks for the week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the fantastic recipes that I had to share with you guys for this week. Everything, you guys, 
delicious and the points and the sweet treat everything is absolutely amazing so if you're looking for some fabulous recipes check down in the description box i did list all three of these recipes down there for you now if you're new to my channel i would like to say hello and extend a huge warm welcome thank you so much for coming over and joining my youtube friends and family it means the world to me make sure that you subscribe and if you hit that little bell you'll just be notified every time i upload that way you're not missing any videos you don't want to miss any. I'd love it if you thumbs up this one. Comment down below. Let me know what recipe are you most excited to see, or maybe it's all three of them. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.